And now you're local on the 8s. Wednesday nights at 9, only on the Weather Channel. This is Coast Guard Alaska. Be advised, on sea weather, visibility, five miles, and ceilings are around 2,000 feet over. Alaskan waters, this time of year, is like jumping into a cooler full of ice. You don't last very long. And if you go in the water and you're wet at all, uh, with the water temperatures and the air temperatures and the wind around here, your rate of survival goes down drastically. I was going through Rocky Pass, the boat slid, and I heard a sickening crunch, and here come the weather, and boy did it come. He said he was in distress, his boat was sinking. We basically made a beeline directly to his position. The seas were a little bit bigger than we had originally anticipated. The biggest thing that you're trying to manage is doing it quickly, but not rushing anything to the point that it's not gonna be safe. Coast Guard Alaska, Wednesday nights at nine, only on the Weather Channel. And now you're local on the 8s. Wednesday nights at 9, only on the Weather Channel. This is Coast Guard Alaska. Be advised, on sea weather, visibility, 5 miles, and ceilings are around 2,000 feet over. Alaskan waters, this time of year, is like jumping into a cooler full of ice. You don't last very long. And if you go in the water and you're wet at all, uh, with the water temperatures and the air temperatures and the wind around here, your rate of survival goes down drastically. I was going through Rocky Pass, the boat slid, and I heard a sickening crunch, and here come the weather, and boy did it come. He said he was in distress, his boat was sinking. We basically made a beeline directly to his position. The seas were a little bit bigger than we had originally anticipated. The biggest thing that you're trying to manage is doing it quickly, but not rushing anything to the point that it's not gonna be safe. Coast Guard Alaska, Wednesday nights at nine, only on the Weather Channel.